It's time to burst some hackers bubbles. That was why I blew the bubble, the chewing gum bubble. And what I mean to imply is that we are about to do some off a fudge. What is this new I? Bro, I don't want a flipping breakout case. Yes, we are doing some Overwatch. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comment section about our cases today. And leave a like for Gabe and Justice. You can also click here in these two wonderful places to watch two other uploads. Go and do that. The videos will open in other tabs. We are now on Nuke. And it's gonna... It's gonna be a good time. Unless, of course, this guy's hacking. In which case... It's going to be a very bad time. Uh, so first round, nothing suspect has happened at all. Ooh, that that's an interesting kill. All right, now I'm now I'm zoning in. Suspect, what can you do here? Anything at all? Is he trying to find the perfect angle to get a kill? He's actually moved away. All right. Okay, mate. <sighs> See, look at the way he played that. It was almost like he was very confident in pre-aiming exactly where the guy was. That kill there, not quite as... Uh, Skept I'm not I'm not quite as skeptical about that second kill, but that first kill, he didn't really have the intel that that guy could be playing that angle. And it did seem slightly slightly suspect. Nonetheless, withholding judgment, let's not jump to any conclusions too quickly. This really is a bizarre round. <laughs> He's just been sitting on top of yellow, kind of protecting outdoors. And is he about to die? Oh, he actually oh <laughs> I jinxed him. I jinxed him there, definitely. Pilu the Jinxer. Hashtag Pilu the Jinxer in the comment section. Bala. Let's see how he deals with this guy, Whale, here. I mean, if he's aware, kind of like if he plays very cautiously with regards to that smoke, then it... Oh, well, giving away his position now. Yeah, I was going to say, if he played cautiously with regards to Whale, then that could be a telltale sign that this guy does not have walls. See, that was a normal kill, because he shoulder peeked out, saw the guy's gun, and also they're completely normal. So far, the only things that have been slightly funny were the two Glock kills. Ooh, oh, see, that's, that's very interesting sort of movement there, because unless he saw the guy through the window, which I don't think he did then he didn't have any intel. I don't think that there was a guy in the hut. And the way he kind of like was looking towards there and shoulder peeking it was almost like he was very cautious that someone was there. A, 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 a tough call on that one. Again, Pilu is never the type of person to commit someone to Overwatch prison without indisputable evidence. And right now, I'm not sure we can say that about this suspect here. See, that was, that was pretty normal. Again, we're back to normal Counter-Strike. I'm also looking out for evidence of, you know, trigger, aim bots, because those Glock kills, again, were a bit funny. But yeah, I haven't seen any strong, hard evidence of that yet. <laughs> what is this guy Mabel doing on the ladder? Is he trying to bait someone into... Shooting or I don't know. He's like jumping off it rapidly. He's going for the bomb now, which is in ramp from his pre-aiming corners See that that's normal pre-aiming as far as I'm concerned It'll be interesting to see how he deals with albatross here because yeah, he should Yeah, he shouldn't be confident that there's someone hiding that spot and he's not he's actually gonna get killed and he does everyone I think this is a case of insufficient evidence. I'm confident in saying that because whilst a few of the things seemed slightly kind of towards the more suspect, you know, side of things, you've got to give them the benefit of the doubt and, you know, just, it's not a good idea to rage convict anybody. So for this, we're going to go with insufficient evidence. We will do one more case. That first one certainly was interesting. A big change from what we usually see, which is obviously 
one way or the other, hacking or not hacking. Let us see what this second case will offer. The map is cobblestone, and we are on the terrace side, starting off on the second round. I don't know what that was. Let's not talk about it. But anyway, what we can talk about is these guys are pushing out onto the B site. And it's relatively standard right now. <laughs> is he going to see Flute coming from behind? No, he's not. He's not going to see Flute coming from behind. He actually did not see Flute until he was quite obviously on the suspect screen. So nothing yet to comment upon. <laughs> if he's using an aim lock or, you know, gun hacks, then they're not, they're not doing very much. <laughs> Being very thorough with checking checking spots as well, which is usually something hackers do not do. And I don't know. It seems like... That's my pizza, everybody. <laughs> One second. Who is it? The pizza delivery guy has just recognized who I am. My mind is officially blown right now and my overwatch senses, I think, are completely out of whack. He opened the- you might have even heard, I don't know if the mic picked up, but he's like, holy fuck. <laughs> By the way, just so you know that I'm not lying, I'll show the flipping pizza. See? There we go. That is me Domino's pizza. Legit. And honestly, everybody, I think I've missed too much of this case now to make a judgment at all. And that's a pretty funny way to end this video. Was not expecting that at all. That was pretty darn awesome. Shout out to the pizza guy. Shout out to all of you watching. I'm going to go and eat my pizza. I really appreciate the support. Keep it up. Definitely let me know your thoughts on that first Overwatch case. And I'll see you all in the next video because right about now, I'm going to go and drown in some pizza.